Creating a certified wildlife habitat involves designing and maintaining an area that provides essential elements for wildlife to thrive. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to creating a certified wildlife habitat. 1. Assessment and Planning Assess your property to determine its size, topography, soil type, and existing vegetation. Identify the wildlife species native to your region and their habitat requirements. Plan the layout of your habitat, considering factors like food sources, water, shelter, and places for wildlife to raise their young. 2. Provide food sources. Plant a variety of native plants that produce seeds, fruits, nectar, and pollen to attract wildlife. Include plants that provide food throughout the year to support different species. Offer bird feeders, suet feeders, and hummingbird feeders to supplement natural food sources. 3. Supply water. Install a water feature such as a bird bath, pond, or small stream to provide drinking water and bathing opportunities for wildlife. Ensure the water source is clean and maintained regularly to prevent the spread of disease. 4. Create shelter. Plant dense shrubs, trees, and grasses to provide cover and nesting sites for wildlife. Install bird houses, bat boxes, and other artificial shelters to accommodate various species. Leave fallen logs, brush piles, and rock piles as hiding spots for small mammals, reptiles, and amphibians. 5. Establish places for wildlife to raise young. Preserve natural nesting sites such as hollow trees, brushy areas, and dense vegetation. Install nesting boxes for birds, bats, and other cavity nesting species. Provide nesting materials like twigs, leaves, grass, and mud to support nest building activities. 6. Practice sustainable gardening. Minimize the use of pesticides, herbicides, and synthetic fertilizers to protect wildlife and their habitats. Use native plants that are adapted to the local climate and require less water and maintenance. Implement organic gardening practices such as composting, mulching, and natural pest control. 7. Maintain and monitor the habitat. Regularly maintain the habitat by removing invasive species, controlling weeds, and pruning overgrown vegetation. Monitor wildlife activity and population trends to assess the effectiveness of your habitat design. Keep records of observations including species sightings, nesting behavior, and plant growth. 8. Certification Process Contact organizations such as the National Wildlife Federation and WUF or local wildlife conservation groups to learn about their certification programs. Follow the specific guidelines and criteria for certification, which may include documentation of habitat features, photos, and an application fee. Once your habitat meets the requirements, you can proudly display your certification and contribute to wildlife conservation efforts in your area.